Hello everybody, welcome back to another daily vlog. Um, today is Friday, so happy Friday. I know I look like I'm wearing the same thing happy and Friday, so does he, Friday. but he wears, this, the same thing. he wears this every day. I got a different shirt on. And I have different clothes on, I'm just wearing the same jacket. So, a lot of you guys that were watching yesterday's vlog knows that we are trying to figure out what we're gonna do with this new ladder back here and we are going to definitely stain it the mahogany color so christian's gonna go ahead and do that now um and we wanted to vlog the process so you guys can see it transform because i'm that type of person that i love to see how it goes down so i'm gonna set up the camera and we will do a time lapse for you guys Good morning, you guys. So as you guys can see, I had Christian stain the ladder, but I also had him take it apart because I want to try to put it together a different way. Right now, we are in the process of doing that. I don't want to show you exactly what it looks like until it's done. So let's see, and then you guys can give us your opinion on what you think. We went ahead and took the ladder apart. As you guys can see, this came out really nice. I like it. We originally had it set up like this. So if you guys remember, this was like the setup. I have a change in plans and I'm gonna have Christian put it together a different way. And I'm excited for you guys to see it once it's all put together, so stay tuned. Okay, so we had to move to the backyard because the front yard, I don't know what was going on. We were being attacked by flies. Um, but we're in the backyard and since we're in the backyard, I want to show you guys update on backyard real quick. A lot of you guys are asking me where my nail stuff is. This is where my nail stuff work area is because of the pandemic and we keep getting shut down. I honestly have not been able to do nails. So if you followed me on TikTok, you saw that we had it set up all nice and cute. Um, and then it rained for like a week but this is what we got going on we have everything that was in my dining room well and some tables that are not in my dining room in here and it's set up for everybody to come out here for Julian to do his homework which he doesn't come out here no more all my nail stuff it legit is exactly what was in my dining room just out here in the tent so this is where everything went everybody's asking if you go on tiktok there's a better picture of it or a video where it's all set up nice and cute one day i'll be able to do nails again it's been a while i've been doing nails here and there for like caitlin and jackie and like family but i haven't done any clients so yes that is where all my nail stuff is one day we'll be back to normal again one day how are we going guys i'm back oh shit i'm back guys and now ash is on in training in training she's gonna learn how to build a ladder that i'm teaching her how to do so i taught him so let's see let's see what you're doing how do you have it off? Oh my goodness. So, there's arrows. Uh -huh. So, there you go. Oh. Oh, how do I get it out? And then, there's arrows, there you go. There you go. Good job. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna need you after this. This is what is this? This is learning. So make sure your holes going straight. They are. Don't me. Okay. Make sure your holes are going straight. The only straight. thing that's annoying is this thing is heavy. 
You should give out sponsors, babe. Should I? For all the women that want to learn shit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you, can, you can flip it. You can flip it. No. It's that girl. You can flip it. And then come over here again because you're holding it with the other hand. Oh, okay. Good job. I'm glad you're paying attention. I wanted to wear glasses, guys. He didn't let me. You're doing pretty good. I know. That one was hard. This one? There's a hole here already. Do I leave it? Yeah, leave it. You can leave it. Okay. Water? Which is. Just drill it because you can. Just drill it in. Just drill in that hole. Who cares? Are you sure? It's, it's fine. Nobody's gonna notice. No, nope, but nobody's I'm gonna, gonna notice. I'm gonna know. Oh my goodness! No, no. Yeah, sure. Why not? Is it, this is where it goes. That's fine. You're good. Oh, you're. You're crazy. I'm a pro. All right, guys. So, little update. Christian's now working on the backyard. Um, I don't understand his process, but it makes sense after he does it. So, if any of you guys are looking to do a foundation or build something or I don't know if you know anybody right now he's building a slope so that I didn't think about this at all I never think about this shit um, when you have a surface or a flat surface no matter how flat you want it there has to be some type of slopes because when it rains or when you water it their water has to drain somewhere and if you have everything completely flat it will just make puddles so when you are doing like renovation or any type of projects you have to think about the bigger picture so my husband does have drainages here so what he's going to do is he's evened out that end so that the water doesn't slope into our backyard into our neighbor's yard so he's going to have it to where it slopes a little bit down into these drains so he's going to like kind of level out this area but have it slope very slightly so that everything drains into these slopes and then what he's going to do is he's going to build a foundation on top of it so we're not going to do the concrete no more he's going to get pillars and build a foundation on top so that there's like room underneath in case for some reason we have to get under it and it doesn't cover our drainages either so we're not going to do anything to the floor um, right now we're just going to work on the foundation for the shed so we can get the shed built that's the goal is the shed needs to be built once that shed is built then we can start transferring everything into this shed because i know a lot of you guys are like what the fuck are you talking about we can transfer everything into this shed into that shed and once we do that then we can start building this as a studio so this will be a studio. It will be like a multi-purpose room until we figure out exactly what's gonna happen. If you guys have been with us from the beginning, my husband has um, plumbing, hot water, um, hot water, cold water, and a sewage drain for us to be able to put a bathroom in here. So the plan is to put a bathroom in here, take all this out because we don't need this. Um, all of this will be completely wiped out and it will be either a studio or an it'll probably be a studio and then we can build whatever we want into it so there will be a full functioning bathroom um a little kitchenette area i don't know if we're going to build a bedroom onto it and make it a one bedroom or just a studio this little area right here we are going to add to it so it will be added um not the whole thing like part of it so it'll be one huge um room so that's the goal so you guys know that you know a lot of you are like what are you planning on doing so that's the goal get that shed put together start working on this shed once this shed is done then we will go ahead and finish this whole area which we are going to put pavers around here so then we'll go ahead and finish the backyard um but first and foremost we want to try to get this shed done as fast as possible sorry my kids are like over here playing in their little fort um so yeah 
the whole goal is to get this done so that we can have extra space either my dad will live in there the boys will live in there we'll rent it out as income property because of covid and everything going on that seems like a great plan since i'm no longer making money um just an overall we just want it for opportunity in any aspect okay i look like a hot mess but it's already the end of the day well it's not the end of the day it's the end of our project day um christian just went to go get lunch it's about to be two we're gonna wind down and i'm just gonna clean the house but i want to show you guys my ladder i don't know if i'm going to use it now or for christmas depending on what color i do my christmas scheme but i want to show you for fall how i set it up for fall are you guys ready I'm so excited <laughs> 